What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's setup and the title, I am doing my promised annual what I got for Christmas. I literally do this video every single year. It's kind of become like a Christmas tradition here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I've been doing this video for the duration of my time here on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now I realize that this year I'm a little bit late doing this video because my Christmas this year didn't really go as planned. Just to cut long story short, everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong and I'm not even over exaggerating. So to cut long story short, the first thing that went wrong was my dad had an accident at work and he actually fractured his hip or his pelvis in three places and he ended up in hospital. This was literally the day before Christmas Eve and we were just so upset. We didn't know what was going to happen and obviously we thought he was going to be in hospital over Christmas. Luckily he did make it back home for Christmas Eve. My mom is looking after him right now and I was able to see him on Christmas Eve which was great. He obviously is in a lot of pain and he is recovering so I feel so sorry for him but I'm sure he's gonna make a speedy recovery and then the next thing that went wrong was like the cherry on top of the cake Matt actually got a toothache on Christmas Eve which is just like the worst time to get a toothache basically what happened with him is he went to the dentist on Christmas Day thinking he was gonna get like a filling but it turned out his tooth was cracked in half so he actually had to get his tooth extracted like pulled out on Christmas Day he was basically out of action for the whole day he was only really feeling better towards the end of Christmas Day, so Christmas was just really bad for us this year. So yeah, that was my Christmas. I feel like my Christmas was the worst of ever. Like this was the worst Christmas of my whole life. So I hope you guys had a better one than me this year. I just thought I would let you in on as to why I wasn't really active on any social medias throughout Christmas. But I thought I would jump on here today and just share with you guys what I got for Christmas anyway. As always, I just wanna let you guys know that this video is not to brag about like what I got or anything like that. I just feel like I really enjoy showing you guys what I got for Christmas every single year because you always ask for it and I'm super nosy myself. I always want to know what other people get as well. So I just want to say a quick thank you to all my family and friends for gifting me something this year. I honestly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But I guess that is enough rambling for the intro. This intro is going to be like an hour long. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. So me and Matt have sort of said to each other, we're not really going to go all out for Christmas this year. We're just going to get like a few little gifts here and there for each other. And this is the first gift that I actually knew I was gonna get because he was like, what do you want for Christmas? And I couldn't think of anything, but I've actually been wanting some new earrings for a while that I can wear and just like have on all the time. So I actually did ask him for some Vivian Westwood earrings and these are the like little Vivian Westwood orb logos. They are actually gold and they are just perfect. They are the perfect size. I can wear them in bed. I never have to take them off. I'm pretty sure these are gold plated so they're gonna last a long time. They're not gonna make my ears go green. I just love the little packaging that it comes in. It comes so cutely wrapped and the box is everything. I'm genuinely gonna keep this forever. So that was my main gift from Matt. I am so happy I got these. I'm literally gonna be putting them straight in after this video. The next thing I genuinely did not expect that he would get me and that is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume. This is like my all time favorite perfume and I pretty much get one every year from my mom. But this year I actually got one from Matt and I'm just obsessed with this perfume. This is like my signature set and he knows me all too well. He then also got me a game. I am honestly such a game person. I just love playing board games and card games with my family and friends, especially at Christmas. Sadly, we didn't get to play this game at Christmas because of everything that sort of went wrong. Everything was so last minute, but this is called the Big Money Game. I think he got this from TK Maxx. It's basically a game where you like roll the dice and you try and invest in different companies and stuff. It's kind of like a monopoly, but not. So yeah, this is one of the first of the many games that are to follow in this video. I'm just obsessed with board games. And then the last thing he got me is in this little box right here. And if you guys have watched my last year's video, you might remember that he got me something similar to this last year. It's basically a massage gun, which looks kind of weird, but yeah, it's like a professional massage gun to like get knots out of your back. You can do your own legs and things like that. I just love massaging tools like this. So basically what you do is you just turn it on. It's got the on button here. And then this little attachment starts like vibrating back and forth. So it like really gets the knots out of anywhere you obviously use it. So yeah, this is a really thoughtful gift because I'm getting back aches all the time and this is just always a lifesaver. So yeah, he got me another one this year because the other one literally broke like the other week and we were like, oh my God, this is so annoying and there's no way to fix it. So he got me a new one, which is really, really thoughtful. In the last few years, we've also started doing like little stockings of little bits and bobs for each other as well. So 
So this was what was in my stocking. It's basically just a bunch of sweets. The first thing is these mellow puffs, which are raspberry marshmallows covered in chocolate. And these are vegan. Right off the bat, I just want to say that everything in this stocking is vegan because obviously I'm vegan. So the next thing is the mac and cheese plant-based pasta meal, which is actually gluten-free. I'm pretty sure I've actually seen Imogen eat this before. So I'm really excited to try it. He then also got me a set of bamboo toothbrushes, which is really handy and really useful because I actually need a new toothbrush right now. This next thing I'm so excited is basically a vegan Jaffa cake, but it's like massive. It's like a massive, humongous Jaffa cake that comes in one piece. I'm so excited to try this. The next thing he got me is a vegan version of a crunchy. So this is called the Golden Crunch by the Vegan Store. I've missed having crunchies so much. I haven't had one since obviously I turned vegan. If you guys don't know what a crunchy is, if you're like not from the UK, it's basically like a honeycombed covered chocolate bar. So I'm really excited to try this out again. And then the rest is basically just like a bunch of chocolates, sweets, and all that kind of jazz. So that was everything that I got from Matt. I feel like all his gifts were quite useful and thoughtful so I'm really excited to start using everything. Now moving on to what I got from my parents. These are actually things that I managed to open on Christmas Eve because in Poland we actually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve so we have like our Christmas dinner, opening presents and all that kind of stuff on Christmas Eve. So the first thing that I opened was actually something that I did ask for and that was a kettle. So my parents got me this kettle right here which is from Next and I just love it so much. It's just like a simple black kettle with a wooden kind of style handle. I really love the style of it. It's just very modern and sleek and me and Matt have been wanting to change around our kitchen a little bit and have like more black utensils. So this is gonna go so perfect with that. Also, I love the wooden handle. I just think it looks so different and so unique. The next thing I got from my mom is another perfume. This one I've actually never had before. This is the Chanel Gabrielle perfume. I have already sniffed this and this literally smells amazing. If you ever get a chance to like go into a perfume shop, give this a sniff because it smells divine. I mean, the Coco Mademoiselle will be my all-time favorite forever, but this is a really strong contender as well. This is so nice. So now I've got two new Chanel perfumes. I am so excited to use these. The next item that I got from my parents is actually a set of cutlery. I feel like this year I got a lot of like practical gifts, which I'm so grateful for. This set is actually from made.com and it is probably the nicest set of cutlery I've ever seen. I've just got three in here to show you guys, but these are like matte black cutlery and they just look so sleek and so like just really bougie. I think this came as a set of 16 so we already used it at Christmas. I was so happy and I did really need a new set of cutlery because half of ours like all the paint had started to come off and everything so I am so grateful for these. My parents then also got me a set of bath bombs which I feel like bath bombs are always such a good thing to get people for Christmas because it's not the type of thing that you might want to buy for yourself but you will definitely use. I'm not too sure where these are from but these just say Naughty List Lumps of Coal Charcoal Bath Fizzers. I'm not gonna open it, but there is six bath bombs in here and I'm so excited to have a bath and use these. The next item I am so excited about because you guys know how much I love like designer jewelry, but without being designer. So what my mum got me is actually a bracelet that looks like Louis Vuitton. It even came in like a Louis Vuitton bag, which is so cool. I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but I did also get a matching necklace from one of my mum's friends, which is so thoughtful of her. I've now got basically a set of the necklace and the bracelet together. So yeah, you guys are definitely gonna be seeing these in future videos for sure. Now moving on to the next thing that I opened from my parents, they actually got me a really nice diffuser. So I love anything that smells nice and makes my house smell nice. I'm not too sure where this one is from, but it looks really interesting. I'm actually gonna open it up. Oh wow, this is so cool. It's kind of like wooden on the top and then the bottom is like a block of stone, I guess. It then also comes with a little reed stick that you can just pop inside. And this is gonna look so cute in like my bathroom or somewhere. I'm gonna have to figure out where to put it. And the last gift that I got from my parents, which is actually a joint present for Matt and I, is actually a set of bedding. It's basically just a simple white Egyptian cotton duvet, which I am so grateful for because I just love like getting into a fresh bed. I feel like bedding is always such a handy thing to receive as well. So I'm super, super happy and I cannot wait to put this on my bed. So that was everything that I got from my parents. I'm now
now gonna move on to my mother-in-law, which is obviously Matt's mom. So the first thing that I got from my mother-in-law is this. So this is a little blanket which has got kitties all over it. I'm literally obsessed with blankets, throws, snuds, onesies, anything that just makes me feel cozy at home. I'm obsessed with this. Look, it's got little kitties all over it and it's super Christmassy. I'm not too sure where she got this from, but I just love it. It's so soft. So yeah, you best believe I'm gonna be chilling under this blanket for the foreseeable future. The next thing she got me is a lovely little pair of socks, which are so cute because again, they've got little cats on them. These are from the brand called Totes and these are the Toasties Novelty Slipper Sock. These have the little grippy things on the bottom of the sock so you can kind of wear them as slippers. I am so excited to pop these on. I'm gonna get so much use out of them. The next thing she got me is a set of Sanctuary Spa. This is the signature showstopper set, which looks like this. First of all, I love the packaging so much. It's in the shape of a heart, but let's open it up. This is what it looks like on the inside. So it's got like a loafer. It's got a body scrub, body lotion. It's got a sleep mist. Oh my gosh, I've been needing one of these. It's got a heel balm. It's literally got everything you would ever need for a pamper night, and I'm so excited to use this. As well as that, she also got me this really lovely bubble bath, which comes in a glass bottle. This looks so fancy. This is from Bayless and Harding. It's the Mulberry and Mistletoe Fragranced Luxury Bubble Bath. Now the next two things are kind of like a joint present for me and Matt. The first thing is these measuring spoons for cooking. For the longest time, I've been trying to get into like baking or cooking or things like that and I never have the right amounts of ingredients because I don't have any measuring spoons. So this is gonna be super handy. I cannot wait to like start baking and stuff. She then did also get us a joint present of some knives. I feel really weird showing this because I don't have a box for it anymore but it's basically just a set of knives that look like this. This is from the brand called Wustoff Gourmet. I think it's a good knife. It literally is so sharp so I'm gonna be so careful with this. She then got me a t-shirt from Diesel. I think she actually said she got this from Bista Village, which is so kind of her. I cannot wait to wear this. And also I love it because it's got a little kitty on it. And speaking of cats, she got me this. This is the kitchen timer from Joey, I think that's what the brand is called. I'm pretty sure this is from TK Maxx because they always stock things with this brand. So this is so cute. And now the very last thing that I got from my mother-in-law is a massive hamper box, which I was just like, what the hell? I did not expect this, but this is how it came. First of all, the box is so pretty. I think this is again from TK Maxx. This is what's inside. It is literally packed. It's so heavy. It's just got a bunch of goodies. It's got the vegan, galaxy chocolate bars. It's got a candle. It's got these Monty Bajangles chocolate truffles. It's got bath salts. It's literally got everything. It's got like lush bath bombs, which are my favorite. It's got these, which are my favorite sweets. These are from Candy Kitten. This is such a thoughtful gift. I actually did one of these for her last year and I just put so many cool things in there. So I love getting hampers. Now the next two items are actually from my father-in-law. So Matt's dad. And the first thing is a joint present, which we got, which is actually another super practical one. This is a universal sprayer. You guys might be like, what the hell is this? What this is, is basically an interior and exterior paint sprayer. So you can use this on walls inside your house. You can use this on fencing and decking outside. So it's super handy and it saves you so much time when you're painting a room. If you guys follow us on our vlog channel, we basically do a lot of DIY projects. We've actually done up a whole house that we flipped. We've just done the renovation of this lounge as well. And if we had had this for those projects, this would have saved us so much time. So I'm so happy we got it now for the future. By the way, if you guys haven't seen our lounge transformation on our vlog channel yet called Roxy and Matt, make sure you guys check it out. We show how we did this whole like media wall and this amazing linear fireplace. In fact, let me get this out the way a sec so you guys can see the full thing. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. If you guys wanna check out how we achieved this whole media wall, make sure you guys check out the video on our vlog channel, which I'll link in the eye. But if you wanna check out the fireplace, which is so cool, I will link it in the description. Now the last few things that I received for Christmas from my family members are some games. I thought I would sort of group them all together and show you guys. The first one is actually an expansion pack from Cards Against Humanity. I actually got this from my sister-in-law called Cherry Ann. We actually did already play this at Christmas, which was so much fun. I just love Cards Against 
against humanity. It's such an evil game. We then also did get a few games from my mother-in-law. So the first one is this one called Mind Trap. I also got a card game called Without a Doubt, which we haven't played yet. Another game I got is Hashtag. Again, we haven't played this yet, but I am so excited to like just get through all these games, do a massive family games night. And the very last two gifts we actually got from Matt's grandparents, which came over to see us on Boxing Day yesterday. So the thing they got us is the Linky game, which we have wanted for so long. This is such a fun game to play at Christmas with your whole family, so I would highly recommend this one. And the other thing they got us is a little gift voucher for John Lewis and Waitrose, which is so handy. So yeah, that is everything that I received from literally the whole family and friends, and I am so happy with everything. I'm so excited to just use everything. Like I said, I am super grateful for anyone that has gifted any of these things, so thank you so much. I honestly did not expect it. I feel so spoiled. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am super nosy when it comes to like what people get for Christmas, so let me know what you guys got for Christmas in the comments below. Also, I hope you guys did have an amazing Christmas. Like I said, mine didn't really go to plan, and I feel like that was the case with quite a few people. Like this year was just not a good year. I am so excited for this year to just be over. I'm just so ready for 2022. But yeah, that is all for this video. Let me know which one of these items you guys like the best. Have you played any of the games I showed you? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video as always. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.